Okay, everyone, here's a photo I've got uh, from a magazine for a Louis, Louis Vuitton. Um, and the photo itself is kind of cool. Let's see if we can focus on that a bit better. Um, and I'm going to show you how they did this, how they kind of slightly edited that. Because what you'll notice is in all the places where it should be totally black, it's white. Yet her skin is still normal. So it's not like it's an inverted image. It's not like it's done... Um, backwards or anything, um, but I'll show you with one of my photos how to get something kind of like this. Obviously, I'd imagine this photo's had a heck of a lot of processing on it, but I'll show you the quick way that I've done it on mine. Okay, so, so to get a photo which we want to use, um, I'm going to use one which I've taken before. This is of a model called Sarah Kid, which I've done a shoot of a couple of times. And uh, let's just quickly zoom into that. But, okay, so to get this kind of weird look where the kind of black is white, but yet you've still got the skin tones, uh, we kind of need to do an inverting of the image, but it's not how you would normally do it. First of all, let's make a duplicate layer just so that we keep the protected one underneath. And on the new layer, go up to colors and what you don't do is invert. What you do is go to curves, pardon me. And you bring, so this bit down here, this is effectively the black area. If you bring it along, lots more gets black, not so good. If you bring it up, it kind of goes a bit gray, but the blacks start becoming whiter, 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 until the blacks and everything is completely white. If you bring this bit down here, you've now gone inverted image, but that's not, not what we're wanting. So go along and just pick another line somewhere on it and bring that nice and close down to the very start of the first of the, you know your total blacks. And there you've got a good looking image. Might want to do it so it's got its normal S curve. That's a slightly exaggerated one there, but that's kind of exactly what I'm looking for. So once we've done that, uh, I really don't like how she's got a green bogey coming out of her nose. See, that doesn't look so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a layer mask so that we can bring the image from underneath this one so it covers up all the bogey action. So on that we'll add a layer mask. White full opacity, absolutely fine. And on here let's get the paintbrush. Let's make sure it's nice and big and fuzzy. Done. And we shall paint over the bits which we don't want to appear. This bit here, the paint that you're using, should be black. So, what we'll do, black. And now when we paint over, what we'll have. What you'll notice is there's some slight changes where the uh, brush is going over, and that's because the image underneath didn't get the uh, curve adjustment. So all we need to do is click on that one, go to colors, go to curves, enhance the curves a little bit, and the darks a little bit, and there now you can't see any difference. Uh, I also don't like how she's got a bit of green coming out of her mouth, that looks a bit ming mong. So just Okay, so that's, I, I think it's quite cool, the kind of cool eyelashes that she's got there. Um, so I'm not really going to change any of that. I kind of like all that. But what I will want to do is get rid of this kind of little marks down here, the ears and the shoulders. So let's just apply that layer mask and we'll get the paintbrush again and just swap colours so it's totally white. And we'll paint over the bits which we don't want to see. Okay, so that's uh, kind of the image that we were looking for. Um, what you might want to do for something cool is add, let's say, add a new layer. And make it transparency. And we'll add a cool kind of square look. Let's say we do a long, long rectangle, down like that. And let's say we fill it up with a paint bucket. And let's fill it up with an interesting colour. Let's say kind of a bright red there and fill that okay so that you think ooh, not looking good there Dom but all you need to do is go over here 
and change the way that your layer mode is and put it to overlay. So now you've got this cool kind of look here. But what you might want to do is give it a vignette. So if I go to select none, you see there's a very harsh line where that red bit is. And that doesn't look so good. So what might be better is if we do control Z, 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 and in the selection that we've got, we go to select and then feather. Let's make it fairly big feather, so about 100 pixels. This is a full 12 megapixel image. And you'll notice now it's got curved lines at the sides. And if we were to go fill that up, you'll notice it now is kind of fuzzy around the lines. Again, let's give that an overlay. And now you've got this kind of cool red look. Click Merge Down. So now these two images are together. So back on the selection, go to Colour and go to Desaturate. And now you've got this kind of cool look there as well. Saturation down a little bit, not as much as that. Kind of maybe minus 11. On the actual image, might want to just give it a slight more brightness. This is probably the worst way to increase brightness. Now, uh, this was taken for a bar, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now add their logo. So to do that nice and easily, all I need to do is go to File and then Open as a Layer. And then here is the new SVG with the big one. Click Open, Import. Fine. So that's the logo there. Now, that's got this big white ring around it. That's not very good. But to change that, all we need to do is go... Sorry. So now we can just uh, put it into Multiply. And as you can see, we can position that anywhere we want, and it will be on the image. You won't see the white. So I'm going to stick it kind of just over here. Right click, flatten image, crop bit here, crop it from about there, change crop size a little bit, click OK, there. And that's kind of how I've done an image like that. Oh, doesn't take too long, you can know what you're doing, kind of thing. Anyway, hope that helps, uh, and let's see if you can guys can do some cool images like this. Cheers, speak to you later.